Okay. So I'm just doing this um, update from my MacBook because I don't feel like getting out my, uh, my camera. Um, I just got off the phone with my sister and she's pretty um, pretty hurt that I didn't like talk to her about stuff, which I can understand. But like I tried talking to her and she just would like change the subject and like what's that how's it supposed to make me feel? Like I try opening myself up to her and she just doesn't even wanna like listen, so I guess I just kinda stopped talking for about things because I just didn't think she seemed to care at all and we were never close. So she just was never like never seemed interested in my life. So anyway, she just found out, I guess, this past week about my surgery and my name change. So she's pretty hurt that I didn't tell her and that my parents had to tell her. But like she was in exams and I just didn't wanna like upset her and stuff. Anyway, she, um, <laughs> she basically said that she will never see me as her brother, and that obviously I'm not her sister as well, <sighs> and basically implied that I'm not allowed to go home for at least another year. <laughs> she basically said that <laughs> I'm not able to go home for Christmas. Because <laughs> she said that um, she asked what Grandma and my Papa are going to wonder when I'm not home for Christmas. So I guess what I kind of thought was going to happen all along has happened. I've pretty much lost my family. I pretty much knew it was going to happen. But it's not something that you can prepare yourself for. No matter how hard I tried to... No. Realize that one day I would not be invited home anymore. It hurts a lot. And she said, like, she can't believe that the doctors are letting me have surgery when I'm on antidepressants, but, like, half the world is on antidepressants. Like, it's something that's very, very common now. Like, I want to get off of them, but it's something I need, like, right now and when I can I'll get off of them but my family just doesn't see me they will never have the opportunity to see that I'm happy in some ways I just don't want to talk to them anymore because they just upset me more like Things go really good. And then I talk to them and then I get all upset and all depressed again. It's so hard to help them to understand. I tried so hard, I just I don't know what else to do. There's really nothing more I can do. <sighs> it's 
really hurts. Especially since my mom said that they'd support me through this and that families stick together. But they don't. I knew how hard I fought the feelings, how hard I tried to be happy the way I am and not have to do this. They only knew. Like, <sighs> like they seem to think that I just decided this overnight. <laughs> like they just don't just want, they just see what they want to see and they hear what they want to hear. <sighs> and all they do lately is just hurt me. I think things go good and then all of a sudden it's just back to like <sighs> so yeah don't really even know like what to think right now. <sighs> and then, like my sister, like after like telling me all this stuff, she just like went on to tell me all like good things about you know her life, which I mean I'm happy for her. I want her to do well stuff and do. Like, I'm interested in her life. It would just be nice if she would care. Like, they say they love me and stuff, but... I'm just not seeing that. He says she'll still talk to me on MSN, but I can't use my new MSN with, you know, the name Adam. It has to be the old one, she said. She won't talk to me under any other name other than my birth name. It just feels like my family just hurts me too much and I hurt them too much. What's the point? What's the point in just trying to keep them in my life when all we do is cause each other pain? I don't know. If anybody else has dealt with stuff like this, my advice would be really great. Thanks. <laughs>